Today in cannabis news, Illinois citizens are still doing what they do best, purchasing copious amounts of cannabis, apparently. The governor of Arizona made a statement solidifying his position as a major buzzkill, and a new program that just went online in the EU aims to help better integrate cannabis medicine into UK healthcare. It's Wednesday, August 5th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your morning buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up today, Illinois sets another record in July with selling $61 million in adult-use cannabis. Illinois' cannabis dispensaries set another sales record in July, selling $61 million worth of adult-use cannabis products, according to a CBS Chicago report. July's figures are a 28% increase over June, when sales reached $47.6 million. Illinois' monthly adult-use cannabis sales have been on a steady incline since February, which experienced a slight decrease in sales from January, when legal adult-use sales first launched, CBS Chicago reported. Since the adult-use market opened in January, dispensaries have sold nearly 6.7 million cannabis products for sales totaling more than $300 million, according to the news outlet. What remains to be seen is if the expiration of the $600 per week unemployment stipend will have any effect on August sales numbers. Next, the Arizona governor opposes the state's cannabis legalization initiative. In a statement of opposition, Republican Arizona Governor Doug Ducey called the state's cannabis legalization ballot initiative, quote, a bad idea based on false promises, according to a Capital Media Services report. According to Gondrepreneur, the governor said he would vote against the measure in November, claiming that legalization in other states has led to increased traffic deaths, increases in teen drug use, and cannabis exposure in newborns. In the statement outlined by CMS, Ducey said that the state's medical cannabis program, quote, is serving the people who need it for health-related reasons. In their 2020 political scorecard, Normal graded Ducey with a D. During his 2016 campaign, he was quoted as saying he didn't think any state ever got stronger by being stoned. As part of the initiative process, Arizona voters will receive pamphlets from state officials containing arguments both for and against the reforms. Arizona Public Health Association Executive Director Will Humble will write arguments from both sides. On one hand, he said his organization broadly supports the idea of criminal justice reform. However, he suggests that on the other hand, there is good evidence that these retail marijuana laws increase access to people under 21 and cannabis is harmful to adolescents. Humble did also add that he is probably going to vote for it. Let's end the day with news that Europe's largest medical cannabis registry is now live. HealthEuropa.eu says, Drug Sciences Project 2021, Europe's largest medical cannabis patient registry, has gone live, registering its first patient for a medical cannabis prescription. The Project 2021 registry aims to assess the efficacy of medical cannabis by monitoring the health outcomes of 20,000 patients who will be prescribed the medicine. The registry will make up Europe's largest body of evidence on the safety of those medicines, and Drug Science hopes the findings will help integrate cannabis into UK healthcare. Set up in November 2019, the project comes into full swing, registering patients who suffer from conditions such as chronic pain, PTSD, anxiety, multiple sclerosis, Tourette's, and substance abuse disorder. Currently in the UK, Patients can only be prescribed cannabis by a doctor who has been trained to do so, and the product is only licensed for a limited number of conditions. A recent Care Quality Commission report also found that only 18 cannabis prescriptions have been given through the NHS, despite medical cannabis being made available to patients in 2018. Patients applying for the registry must have one of the listed conditions and must have tried two different medications that have been unsuccessful. And that was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and leave a review. You can also keep up with Trichomes on all social media platforms and the Trichomes YouTube channel. For trichomes.com, I'm David Horton. And I'm Allison Benyehuda. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. 